Yo, what is up guys? Cozy Joe back here again. After an astounding amount of yes for the sorter interface, <laughs> well just about 10 people I, I, I think, I decided to do a little tutorial or guide on how to set it up and get it running. The UI and program is made by a Chinese dude. I'll leave a link to his blog if you're interested in checking him out. He updates the program occasionally too, so um, you'll probably get two or one update every quarter. But definitely give this guy some credit for creating this. It's truly amazing. It's better than all those shitty ones you see, such as the one provided by Rain Meter and uh, what was that other one? Oh, f fuck it. Oh shit. <laughs> all right. Um, like before, I will upload all the required files into a Dropbox. I also include the original link to the download if you want to download from the origin or you don't trust me. Oh come on, guys. <laughs> But um, if you jump from the origin, I'm just gonna tell you it's gonna take a while or it's gonna take a long time for you because the server you're trying to reach it from is in China. So yeah, you, you I'm pretty sure you know what I mean. The download link should be in the description below, so definitely check those out. So shall we begin? Oh, and don't worry, this shit is super simple. Even a 10 year old can do this. I'm not kidding either. <laughs> All right, let's do this. First step, after you get the file called SAO Utils, install that shit on your desktop. Alright, let's do this. So, um, where is it at? It should be my downfall. Here it is, yeah, here it is. Load that shit up, click custom. Um, make sure you have all these selected. So yeah, blah 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 blah. All this bullshit. And um if I were you, I would download the SAO Utils somewhere convenient where you can find it easily. For me, it's on my desktop. So change the location if you feel like it. If you don't, just leave it in your um, program files. That's cool, right? Since I already have this installed, I don't need to do this, so I'm gonna click cancel. So after SAO utils installs, you have a folder like this, all this stuff. Plus I also included two um, down links to two plugins. They're called the SAO utils beta one web widget dot nerve gear. And the other one is a web browser engine Windows 64 1.1.1 nerve gear. You definitely need these two for that cool in, um, browser interface shit. Don't worry. I, I'll, I'll go over that too. So, um, yeah. Start up the utils. Alright, I'm going to close mine. And then uh, reopen and just demonstrate you guys how it is. Alright, let me exit this. Alright, ready? Let's do it! Woo! Oh shit! <laughs> Damn, we are now officially in Sword Art Online. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> After that splash art, hold down your left and right mouse at the same time and drag down. You will now see this cool interface. Now I want you to scroll all the way down to see a cog icon, so which is this one. Go into options. And then into general. A window will pop up and that's the options for the program. So you could customize this all you like. So example, you want to change the mouse gesture or how to activate the interface. You could change to uh, only left mouse button, middle mouse button, right mouse button, X button 1, X button 2. I think that's a controller because I do have an Xbox 360 controller connected to my computer. So yeah, I, I think something like that but yeah whatever it, um you can ignore this if you want oh you can change the sensitivity for the um how hard you want to drag down so i just leave it normal oh, you can also enable a hotkey for it so example I have alt s alt show you guys there you go see alt s you can change anything you want to your preference you know you have all these you know, cool shit you could do. You can check this if you want your computer to start up with the SAO utils. But yeah, then you want to jump into appearance. This is where you customize um, the graphics for it. Well, not really graphics. What am I talking about? Um, the whole interface. You want to make it 2D. 2D looks like looks pretty dumb to me. So I just keep it 3D. If you can't handle the 3D, you start lagging. I guess you gotta do 2D. But yeah. You can um, decrease the um, the transparency with this, the background density. Um, show the splash, 
she'll start up animation, which is the, on the link start shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> 3D FX, uh, pretty much magnifications. So if I lower this, it's going to be a lot smaller. It looks pretty dumb, let me show you. Save this Look at that shit. So small. Yeah, I would just leave it, you know, about right, right about here. Looks cool. Keep, pretty much you can copy what I have. Jumping into the graphics. Um, you could, uh, change the texture filtering. I will leave it, uh, trilinear. For anti-aliasing, make it 16 times. You could turn it off, but um, it's just based on your, your graphic card. If you have a strong card, you could turn this up because it looks uh, it makes the interface a lot more crisper and cleaner and less jaggy. Jump to sounds. You want to leave all this shit alone because these are really nothing. Alright, now we're in plugins. Remember those two plugin files I gave you guys? These two? Yeah. So this is where they come in handy. You want to install these two plugins. So to do that, you just simply click install. Um, locate it. Install these two. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do it. It should install. And the program might stop responding. But uh, don't worry though. Give it about a minute or so. So after the installing those two plugins, you're pretty much good to go. Let's... Let me explain some of these uh, stuff. All right, so here you could um, you change your name. Default, oh, to do that, you just right click it, go to edit bar. Default will be called Kirito, but uh, you can change your name or any, you know, or anything, your computer name. This displays your, uh, your CPU usage, which is your name. And um, your level depends on how long the program's been running. RAM, pretty sure you know what that is. Your hard drive, uh, how much space you have, how much space you're, you, you, you're using and all that stuff. This is pretty much the same thing, just it's the GGO one. You don't really need it, but whatever. <laughs> same with this. They're both the same. All three of these are the same shit, I just gotta say. And this is something cool about this um, UI. This tells you a schedule on all the animes that are airing today. So, example, you have Oshiete Garuko chan. Then you have uh, Divine Gate right here. That is Sekyo Boizu. The I think yeah, the statue anime that weird anime. <laughs> and uh, this one is. Kokaku no Pandora, I think that's I think that's that. And you have Dagashi Kashi and all these other ones. Some are just OVA, some are just like small little animations. So example this one, it's Oji san no Mashimero. It's kinda kinda weird, but yeah. These are all these animes that are airing today. So this is pretty handy if you want to see. Oh plus you can also um Jump forward, I think. So, uh, here it is. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, today's Friday, right? Then, tomorrow is Saturday. Turn it Saturday. Let's retrieve the animation list. Oh, I think. Wait, what the fuck? Oh fuck, I bugged it. Hold up, you're back. Alright, sorry about that. I don't know why it bugged on me. So, now you have, you know, the list on Saturday, which is... Doyobi, I think. So yeah, so... This is pretty cool. It tells you what's airing. So tomorrow you have Gate, Igene, all, all these random other stuff. So, let's just go back to Friday. Alright, Kinyobi. Uh, so... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, this too. Um, this tells you the weather in your area, so you can change this by going to um, edit item, clicking on this thing, changing your area. So I live in the LA County, so I put Los Angeles. So yeah, it's 55 degrees where I'm at right now. So pretty much just type in your like a main city example. You have 
right here new york or i really don't know what the fuck this means anyways well yeah it should drag it should uh it should automatically grab like a weather report from your in your area and yeah that's pretty much it this oh yeah plus this thing this is a a png no no my bad this is the image plugin it's pretty cool checks out so i'm gonna oh yeah to get this you just go into the cog go into options go into plugin and then you go on to emit widget then you press play button then you have something like this oh wait me uh this is to add more if you want to so let's do this put that back Click on the the magnifying item. I mean icon. Get a get a picture. So example, I'll go into. I just grab something I, I made. Um, let's see for example. Yeah, we got kind of key right here. Yeah, so you just drag them around. It's best to have this and um have the picture as a PNG, a transparent in a transparent background. Because, you know, it looks cooler. You could just use a normal picture, for example. I'll just take some... So, saber thing, like, something like this. But I think it looks a lot better if the image is a has a transparent background. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Alright. I think this might be getting a bit too long. But, uh, let's get to the customization now. So, um, if you can see, I have these... My own little preset for my programs. All right, to simp to do this simply, uh, you just right click any one of these. So, example, I'm gonna right click this one, right? You click on modify. You'll get this um special, I guess, window that pops up that tells you that uh, customizes the uh, the icon. So, example, I'll just name this. I'll name a YouTube, okay? So. You customize the, uh, the icon you want to use, so media, just pick uh, whatever, you know, play button. You want to select, you can make it launch a program, a file, a folder, or a URL, or a command. So, um, but um, for this purpose, I'll just make it a URL. So you want to click on this, browse, input the URL, make sure, you, um, don't put www, make sure it's HTTP. So I'll put YouTube. Dot com. Press OK, right? Then you click on the OK button. Now, once you launch this up, this should pop up. It's a sort our browser thing. So you could browse the internet with this. I think the only bad part about this is you can't really browse this internet. Let me see. I haven't really tried this, but um, yeah, you can't really browse. You only you're limited to uh, browsing YouTube only. Oh wait, no, never mind. You could change it, so let's go to um, Google. You know, there you go. You have Google. I guess I, I guess to go other website, you just click on this. You know, so pretty cool, pretty cool. So let's check on Twitch. You know, oh, watching videos might be a bit laggy. Just then you know, if you're watching a stream and you want to be in 60 FPS, apparently the po um this browser cannot not process the 60 fps let me just double check because one time i tried it, it didn't work so let me go to a league of legends stream oh, unlucky, man. yeah it won't let you modify the settings and all that stuff which is pretty dumb but whatever you know you get this cool ass interface right all right so after you get that browser all set up you should be good you can add more if you want to, but yeah. Oh, you want to delete it? You just right click it, right click modify, and then you press the minus button. It's gone. All right. So for um for programs, let's see, like my um, my drop menu right here for all my programs. You wanna to do that? You do the same thing as what I did before with the YouTube thingy. Just right click any one of them. Press modify. Type in program. Um, program. I just named program two. And then you want to execute it as a sub menu, all right? Click OK. Oh crap! I'm not I'm two Google's now. Oh shit! 
Let me click something random. Sweet. Whatever. So after you get that, you right click this, you go to modify, you change it to a virtual folder. So click OK. You sure want to drop the old man? Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. There, see? Now you have something cool. Oh, like a. Now you have um, a sub menu now. So right click that, you can add more, more, and more. And then you just pretty much modify them one by one. So example, I'm gonna use I'm gonna make a um let's use iTunes for example. So iTunes Oh there it is, I'm blind. Then you call this, you know, iTunes. Alright, for iTunes it's a program, right? So you wanna locate the exe it's to make stuff easier i would just grab it from your program files should be right here and program blah 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 then you press okay and then you have itunes right here and so every time you click on this itunes will start up is that sick so yeah you have itunes right here pretty cool you know So yeah, you could do some other programs too. So you want to add more stuff? Just click on the plus. You want to <clears throat> modify the the shortcut. Choose an icon for it. Change the name for it. Make more sub names if you want to. So you just keep going and going. But I think one's enough. So yeah, more programs. So you could pretty much, you could put a game too if you want to. Actually, wait. Oh, you can't. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> and this concludes the tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoy this. And I hope you enjoy the interface as much as I do. <coughs> oh, I need some water. <coughs> <clears throat> oh, crap. And as always, again, thank you for watching. And uh, look forward to my future videos. And peace out, yo.